This is the property 14210. This is the main highway, farm to market road 1261. I'm just gonna drive you uh, through the drive. That's the main uh, homestead, the stone house. And there is a second house behind there with the red roof and that uh, smaller red roof is uh, storage. It used to be the radio shack originally. There's a, a tack room there. There's a Quonset hut there. Uh, that's a double garage there. There is also an attached garage there. Just give you an overview of the property. This is the back of the main uh, house. That's an outside barbecue. This is uh, the storage or outside buildings, a few outside buildings there. There's a double garage there. And that behind there is a hangar. I'll take you through all of these. Uh, individually and that's a, a garage attached garage to this main house so we'll just go into the main house from the back door and by the way that's the outside barbecue the main homestead is all fenced around the gates and the whole property the 20 Point three acres is also fenced around. Just going through the back door. So we're coming into a, a little mud room here and a closet here. And then into the kitchen tile floor and this is the kitchen then you go into the dining room hardwood original hardwood flooring and you go from the dining room into the living area and this is the living room quite large and spacious with a large window and seeing the horizon out there and there is a this is the um, front door that is a one bedroom which is used at, as office at the moment uh, this door goes into the basement as well as upstairs and into the garage there is a bedroom right there behind the couch and a hallway into three more bedrooms and two bathrooms, which I'm gonna take you in a second. This is another mudroom from the front door, another closet here.
into the the office or the one of the bedrooms that we use as office. That door opens to the outside uh, patio where the fireplace is. Lots of drawers and cabinets and cupboards for storage. Uh, office desk. And another closet here which has got its own shelves and drawers for more storage room okay so the first bedroom from the living room area this one and again another closet there uh, right behind the door most of these Closets are lined with cedar uh, wood. And then we go into the hallway and uh, first bedroom on the left, which is the third bedroom I'm showing you. Another walk-in closet there. Again lined with cedar wood and lots of space here. Shelves for storage. We're going now into the opposite bedroom. And the closet there. We're going out into the hallway again. Right in the hallway again, there is another wardrobe or closet with shelves and uh, room for storage. Again, lined with cedar wood. Then we go into one bathroom here
and then the opposite bathroom. tiled and uh, pebble stone effect and then the master bedroom the end the huge walk-in double door closet here with shelves and holes for hangers and everything and lots of storage there. And also we go to the other side also there is another one in the corner for more storage. I'm going to take you now back into the living room and then through the uh, hallway. I'll take you first upstairs to show you the bonus room. You walk in here uh, into the hallway. There is a, another, there's another closet here. Lots of room for storage again. And that door leads to the garage and that next one goes also to the basement as well as the utility room. You can go either from there through the garage to the Uh, utility room or from here to the utility room uh, and there to the basement but I'm going to first take you upstairs to the bonus room so walking through this sliding door into the hallway on the left is a, a closet in front of you is a door to the bonus room upstairs Lots of space for storage again here. Um, there is one, two, three, and four uh, small doors opening to the to the attic. So different spaces different parts of the attic and and also another um, door to a walk-in closet here so we just go into this closet it's all lit Lots 
larger space. I'll just open one of these doors so you can see. And now we're going down uh, first to the garage, a utility room and then into the basement. So now, back into the hallway, straight to the garage. This is the attached garage. And first door you see on the right is to the utility room, and this is the garage. Again, lots of space for storage. These uh, panels you see there for the second house's basement uh, walls, which I'll show you uh, in a few minutes. Wall panels. Oh. Wood effect panels. That's the garage. Let me open the door. So that opens right to the back of the property again, as I showed you before. Barbecue. Back into the garage. You can also close from here. Utility room. That leads to the basement or to the right to the hallway. We can either go from there or you can go from here as we just entered. So we entered from here, back to the hallway and enter. That's the door. 
to the utility room I just showed you we could come from here and the stairs into the basement the basement is finished um, both properties basements are completed and finished this is the living area if we go back a little bit further uh, another storage space under the stairs fireplace into one of the rooms that goes into the bathroom this is water heater room and that one is a bolt with a safe lock quite large and lots of room for storage again shower room all tiled the or uh, sorry the water heater room One is gas operated, the other one is electric. Both of them are functioning well. And that one is a crawl space, quite large crawl space. As far as the height is concerned, it's only on the uh, one of the bedrooms. The rest is uh, all covered here. So back into the living area now there's a door here into the furnace room and the furnace is going as you can hear it and the aircon is not working and Another water heater there, uh, those are just um, spares. This is the water heater for the kitchen. So the kitchen water heater is separate from the showers or the bathrooms. Lots of shelvings here again for storage. Lots of natural light coming in 
throughout the day and we just go back up now I think I've shown you everything in this property now we can go into the next house back into the dining room kitchen and out we go to the second house you can see the second house from here and the radio shack from the window of the kitchen and also through the door now I'm just gonna walk you out to the second house uh, that's the radio shack with the windmill and uh, original windmill and the antenna uh, that's the water well there are two water wells on this property uh, one is used for um, just the two houses and the other one is used for agriculture but well, we're not using that at the moment and that's uh, just another storage house. It used to be a uh, switch room for the pumps, but uh, second house. Uh, just go around it, show you around the property. The The metal uh, roof was installed uh, back in November 2023 and the main homestead uh, roof was installed in 2018. And uh, that's the Quonset hut and that's the tack room. I'll take you through each one of those. The hallway um, steps to the basement. Uh, there is an, a sliding door to one of the bedrooms. Uh, this is the utility room, that's the uh, living area or lounge uh, or dining room, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, and that one is the actual living room. And this is the kitchen and that's the bathroom and that's another bedroom there. And the, the house needs some decoration, flooring and a new uh, bathroom the heating is gas and it works fine Walk into the second bedroom. That's the sliding door. back into the 
hallway or uh, dining room and then the kitchen. There's a gas point behind that uh, dishwasher. Electric stove and oven. Forced air, forced heat air works fine. The utility room. Walking down into the basement. The living room, bedroom, and the water heater room. They had some uh, wood wall paneling and that we've taken off to put new ones on. And we have the new wood panelings in the garage that you can use. We leave a lot of uh, building material here for the, the next owner on this property so they can use it. That's the, the other room. going back up and out to the other outside buildings all right I'm uh, gonna take you now to the tack room and the quonset and the hangar Lots of natural light through the uh, skylights. Now we're going to the Quonset Hut. Okay.
quite large. I think it's the largest size. These type. And we're going to take you now to the hangar. That's a side door to the hangar. I'll just show you the front of it first. There are fences around the property and also there are fences inside to section off different parts of the land uh, just to keep animals in different places. That's uh, the pit and the uh, boundary of the property goes further behind that. You can probably see the fence behind those, um, behind the, just just a little bit back behind the pit. And uh, this is another gate to go to the other side of the um, property, and that's the front of the hangar, and that's the back of the concert hut. There's a it's a long way, I'm not going to go to the end of the uh, property. That one is the double garage. It needs some work. Uh, the roof needs a, it's a, it needs a new roof. And there's no electric to it. There used to be, but it's not, there's nothing connected to it now. Um, another chicken house there, and that's another, um, duck house or chicken house again that's a metal one with a good uh, concrete foundation this one is partially um, destroyed um, it can be rebuilt or brought down but the metal one is good and uh, back there in the middle further back uh, that's a pump house with the original pump in there the stock tank here and and that's all there is to this property I mean, I'm not going to go around the property there is uh, 20 acres of land so it's going to take a long video there's also a sand foundation for a for an outside swimming pool if you wanted to use that Uh, as I said, it's all gated, it's all fenced around. And there's another outside fire place here. And show you the front of the property, the porch. The front garden. With no neighbors around, you have complete peace and quiet here. <laughs> 